Hello, you guys. We are about to film a very interesting and highly requested video by you guys, basically talking all things birth control. Obviously, you guys know I've been very open about my birth control experience, so I'll be going into mine. And then we have a bunch of other women that have tried different birth controls that are also gonna talk about their experiences so that you get all types of perspective so that after this video, you are fully informed on which type of birth control you should be trying or want to try and have all the info you need. I do feel like I need to clarify, I am not a doctor. I did not go to medical school. Neither did any of these women. This is literally just speaking from personal experience of the individual. So don't take this as medical advice. Speak to a gynecologist or a professional if you have more questions. But if you just want to hear from people who have experienced it, then you can go ahead and continue to watch the video. Okay, so I'm going first and I'm going first because I've actually never been on the pill. I've never had the implant in my arm, the patch, the shots, no hormonal birth control. And that was a choice I'd kind of done a lot of research for before I got married, just cause we have like a history in my family of like hormonal imbalances. So I was afraid of going on a hormonal birth control and then it like affecting a lot of different things. So I did a ton of research about like, cause you hear, you hear a lot of like rumors from people and stuff that unless you're on the pill or unless you have the bar or are on some kind of like legit like doctor prescribed birth control that you're gonna get pregnant which is totally not true i'm like five months into marriage and i am square okay guys don't worry no baby in this tummy i use just condoms and natural planning so i actually use a, like a temperature gauge that can tell me when i'm ovulating i can actually feel when i'm ovulating but some women can't so i have this like temperature case gauge called the daisy that i found on amazon so I test my temperature every morning and that tells me when I'm fertile. Um, so obviously you wanna be more protected when you are fertile versus not. And then just condoms. Just just so for anyone that's trying to come at me, condoms are actually an effective type of birth control. People just don't use them properly. And that is why people deem them as non like safe version of birth control, but it's totally fine. And I'm speaking from experience, they're great. I use non-latex condoms because a lot of women have allergies to latex and that's not something like a lot of people talk about. So if you are interested in using this type of birth control, you can go on Amazon, you can go to Target, you can go to Walmart, look for non-latex condoms. They're great, they're gonna be pretty much everywhere. You could probably find them at a gas station. Very easy solution for And then the Daisy, the temperature gauge, there's lots of different ones. Um, that one I found on Amazon. So super easy. That's all I do. That's my type of birth control. There aren't really many side effects. I don't deal with any of like the weight gain or the hormonal or like feeling sad or any type of feelings that sometimes the pill, the pill can cause. I forgot to mention an important fact about the type of birth control I use is that I still have a regular period. So just like you would normally have without using birth control, I get a period every month, I ovulate every month, nothing is like changing or messing with my cycle. That's an important part of knowing which kind of birth control you use, so I forgot to mention that. Hey guys, it's me, Bethany, um, Brooklyn and Bailey's former roommate, if you go back that far. If you don't, then just their bestie is all you need to know. I'm here to talk to you about my next one on implant for birth control. It is a little matchstick size metal bar that releases hormones into your body that is implanted into your arm every th three years and you leave it in, it releases the hormones, you get it taken out and then re-put in whenever three years is up. I was about 14 when I started using birth control but I started on a pill because I was on Accutane and you have to use birth control when you're a girl and on Accutane so I just chose the pill because it seemed the easiest and then it was great because it regulated my hormones but it was also awful because I never remember to take it on time so I would wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat realizing I didn't take my birth control take it and then feel awful the next day only because I have terrible ADHD only because I'm a disaster whenever we decided that the birth control was probably not to using its full effect because I was in fact not taking it at the same time. We looked into other options. And so I looked into both IUDs and the next one on implant. And the next one on implant was by far the best choice for me because I was horrified of someone putting an IUD into me. Uh, it sounded like my worst nightmare. Now I wouldn't care. I think the IUDs are great. A lot of my friends have them, but um, at the time I was not about it. So I got the next one on implant in my arm. All they do is they numb your arm, which hurts. Them numbing your arm is the only 
only thing that hurts. And then they put a device against your arm and insert the bar in there. And then you're good for three years. And that's like how the insertion process goes. I didn't get my period. I stopped getting my period after I took it because it doesn't allow your body to produce eggs anymore. That's how it works. The hormones that are released through the device or through the bar, it's not like electronic, just through the bar, stop ovulation. So you can't put, drop an egg. It makes like your cervix, makes the mucus thicker so that sperm can't get through. Some of the good side effects are that I don't have my period, which is fantastic. I've never really had any bad side effects. I know that some people do have some bad side effects with Nexplanon and those could include like having spotting every day. My friend that went on Nexplanon spotted every day and had to get it taken out because she just couldn't handle it. I don't get my period at all. My friend who's on it gets her period every month. It's just like not her actual period because there's no egg being released. It differs for everyone, but it's been a great experience for me and I absolutely recommend it. One and done, in there, three years, 99.9% .9 effective. It's one of the most effective birth controls available and you don't have to worry about it, which is fantastic. So I highly recommend it. My name is Mindy. I am Brooklyn Bailey's mom. What birth control you chose and why you chose it? I used to, started with the pill, but then I switched to the IUD after I had Rylan. And I decided the IUD because I didn't love the hormones that were involved in the synthetic hormones that were involved in the pill. But I had heard really good things from friends about the IUD and it's not hormone based. So switch to the IUD. The IUD, um, you have to go to your doctor. They have to put it in. It, it's like a little tiny, it looks like just a tiny, tiny little tiny, like, I mean, it's very small. It's like a toothpick, like width. It's very small. Put it up past your cervix and then it like flips open. So then it's shaped like a T and they kind of pull it down and it sits right on inside your uterus, but right where your cervix and uterus meet. I think it depends on if you've had a vaginal birth before or not. I've heard people that have had a vaginal delivery have an easier time of having it put in. I had not since I had had C-sections. And so having it put in is definitely a little uncomfortable. They don't numb you or anything like that. It's just an office visit. Um, it doesn't take very long, but you do have like, just like weird cramping and like they're tugging and kind of pulling on your uterus for a minute. And they use like the speculum, you know, to open you up and then just kind of insert it and almost like a, a little bit more invasive gynecological visit. So side effects, the first few months, I know it's really common for you to experience spotting like pretty much the whole few months. Um, and then thereafter, most women stop having a period like altogether. So I did, I stopped having a period and you can have it in I think for five years now is what they say before you have to have it removed and a new one put back in. I decided, I think it was maybe like two and a half years after I had it put in for three years to have it removed to try to get pregnant again. The removal process for me was not awesome. So I mean, for a lot of women, I have a friend that pulls her own out. So I think for some women, it's like not a thing. Like you just fill the strings, give it a yank. Um, that's what the doctors are supposed to be able to do. For mine, it had like implanted in my uterus. And so digging it out and finding it was extraordinarily uncomfortable. And it was a doctor's visit. And I left with quite a bit of cramping and thereafter subsequently had infertility. So I don't know if it was the IUD that caused the infertility or the removal that caused infertility issues, but that was the end result for me. I will say, I know that's not common. Like it's a very, very small percentage of people that have side effects from the IUD post IUD. I just happened to fall in that. At least when I had mine done, the copper was not as highly recommended anymore because like people had weird, really heavy periods and heavy cramping with it, where the Marina is the one I used and that one was being found to be much more like just easy to use and comfortable for women. Not sure what they say anymore. Advice as a 20 year old would have been, I'll just jump on the pill because that's what I hear everyone talking about and that's what seems most common. Advice as a 40 something year old would be, um, don't use the pill because it really can screw with your hormones and have a lot more side effects than I think people are talking about. If I had to go back and choose one to use, I probably still would use the IUD because I feel like that's the least hormone based. I just had a personally like a bad experience with it. But I also think overall men should be much, 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 much more responsible for some of the birth control when possible because I think that theirs are a lot less invasive and a lot healthier for females. Do you want to say bye or anything? Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, my name's Allison. Y'all may or may not remember me, but I'm Brooklyn and Bailey's friend from high school. Um, so they just asked me to come on and say a little bit about my experience with the Depo Provera shot or the Depo shot. I started using birth control when I was about 16, 17, kind of regulate my cycle, make it more manageable because things like athletics and stuff like that. So I actually didn't start off with the Depo shot, started with the pill. That's what almost every doctor is going to have you do. And so tried some of the wasn't the biggest fan. I had heard my mom had tried the Depo shot and I knew some other people that had used it and it really appealed to me because they never had a period the whole time they were using it and I was like wow that sounds fantastic. I was like I'll give it a shot and so it's just an injection in your upper arm or your glute and it pretty much works the same as every other birth control. It thickens the cervical mucus and prevents ovulation. It just works a little bit longer. It works for three months at a time. You only have to get the shot every three months, which is super nice, super convenient, also very appealing. I tried it for about a year. Everybody else I knew didn't have a period for a year. However long they used it, never had a period. I, on the other hand, did, didn't, did but did. I was pr I pretty much spotted for the whole time I was on the shot. So it was just very annoying, very inconvenient. It had no rhyme or reason. It just did what it wanted to do. And that wasn't very convenient or anything. Anything. And so I was like, well, I gave it a shot after a year. I was like, oh, well, not my thing, but tons of other people love it. I will say that some of the negative side effects is that it can take a little bit for your fertility to get back to where it was, which makes sense because it is a three month shot. So either way you go at three months after your last shot is the next time that you'll be fertile again. So it's, it's going to take some time to come back for sure, just because it is a longer lasting birth control. It's not not like stop taking the pill and that's immediate and so once it's there it's kind of there this is three months really easy super convenient hello everyone it's Brooklyn and in my experience with birth control I was on the low estrin birth control pill I actually originally was experiencing a lot of hormone fluctuations that were affecting my moods um, and I was having really extreme mood swings um, and it was affecting my personal life and my relationships with people and so that's when I first decided to approach the OBGYN um, and I went to the doctor and you know I, I discussed these problems with her. Her suggestion was that I get on the low estrogen birth control pill. Obviously she had you know the medical degree to back the information that she was giving me but I think that um, the better option probably would have been to get a blood panel done to test what actual hormones were you know low at what times of the month so that I could better supplement those in a more natural way. I mean I say that only because my experience after getting on the low estrogen birth control pill was pretty negative. I gained a decent amount of weight. I felt really uncomfortable in my body and it did actually cause my anxiety and depression symptoms to like elevate to a completely different level. And I've heard a lot of women say that happens to them. And the best explanation I can give you is it turned me into a very mean person, like meaner than I was before. And I was also gaining weight. So I was a lot more unhappier as in regards to my body and my self-consciousness. I wasn't using it for pregnancy prevention, which I know is necessary for a lot of people. Um, and so, you know, that w that would obviously be a side effect of taking the birth control pill is that it does prevent pregnancy. I wouldn't be able to speak to the success rate of that because that's not what I was experiencing when I was on the pill. But essentially, I started taking the pill and what it is, um, birth control pills, sorry, Finn's right here. What birth control pills look like is they're in a little plasticky container and you kind of have like a slip package you can put it into so you can take it with you on trips and stuff. But it's four rows of actual hormonal pills that trick your body into thinking that they're pregnant. And so this means that they're pumping different hormones into you via the pill. Mine was low estrogen. So it was basically tricking my body very subtly into thinking it was pregnant for three weeks of the month. And then the final week and row of pills are red pills and they're basically considered placebo pills. There's not supposed to be anything in them. You're just taking them. And what that does is it allows your body to recognize no more hormones are flowing in and it allows your body to essentially have a period. Um, the only problem with that is it's actually a chemical bleed. It's not a natural bleed. It's caused by the pills you're taking. Um, and so it can actually really mess up your natural reproductive cycle. Um, a lot of women struggle when they get off the pill with getting, you know, a healthy 
healthy reproductive cycle um, again. And some people struggle, basically people struggle getting pregnant when they get off birth control for a while, just because your body has to get acclimated to like its own hormone production instead of these, you know, synthetic hormones you're putting into your body. Um, but I've actually also heard a lot of positive things for women who take the pill and um, really loved them. So there's different experiences. I can only just speak to my own experience. I know a lot of people say that if you are using it for pregnancy pre prevention, if you miss a single day of the pill, there is a chance that you could get pregnant. So it is a little bit more difficult in regards to like other versions of birth control that aren't so high maintenance. There are different versions. Low estrogen is kind of like the base level. I think they even have like one called the mini pill that's even lower than that. And then you can raise the levels of hormones and stuff and it goes all the way up and there's a bunch of different brands. I had a really generic brand. So it was like $30 at the grocery or at the you know grocery store pharmacy every month. Just go pick it up and they'd give me packets of three. So it'd last me three months and then I'd have to go back and get more packets. I actually made the decision a little over a year ago to get off um, my pill birth control just because I did not like the way it's making me feel. I did not like the way my body looked. I did not like any of my side effects. And I was reading a book at the time that kind of gave me more insight on how I could naturally supplement my hormone imbalance. And I've been taking vitamins and stuff to help with that. And it's actually done a way better job than birth control did. So give or take, you know, take it with a grain of salt. I did not love my experience on the pill, but a lot of people do. So that's all I can really tell you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it was informative and helpful and you got the information you needed out of this video. If you want us to do more Girl Talk videos like this, let us know in the comments below and we will try to do more of them for y'all. Um, and you can also probably give us some ideas in the comments below as well for what you want us to film. Um, anyway, see you guys next week. Mwah. Bye.